Hello dear friends, today I am going to read from Hegel's Phenomenology of Spirit and the chapter is titled Force and Understanding. One moment, Hegel says, appears as the essence that has stepped to one side as a universal medium or as the subsistence of independent matters. But the independence of these matters is nothing else than this medium. In other words, the unconditioned universal is simply and solely the plurality of the diverse universals of this kind. That within itself, the universal is in undivided unity with this plurality means, however, that these matters are each where the other is. So what Hegel essentially says is that ultimately it's a realm of uh, uh, the simulacra, the realm of the multitude, as Jean Baudrillard or later Antonio Hart and Tony Degree would say, it's the realm of the multitude. It's not some kind of an Advaitic multitude, but everything segues into everything else. And there is a primordial abyss of the soul, the primordial darkness. Welcome to the desert of the real, as in the movie Matrix, as paraphrased by Slavoj Žižek. So, in the realm of the multitude, there are no hierarchies. It is a post-human world where... Uh, you begin where I end and there is a continuity between different kinds of existence and you cannot really demarcate between one person and the other. It is a pure realm of the simulacral. If you look at cloning, cloning creates mm, a uh, symbiotic amalgamation, a swarm, a group of humans, a proliferation, a profusion of humanity, of life in all its beauty, in all its uh, magnificence, in all its sublimity and at the same time there is a kind of uh, a drastic similarity. So patriarchy, which is a regressive force, still uh, retains uh, for itself, appropriates uh, for itself the ability to um, uh, introduce uh, some kind of a distinctness or identity. So patriarchy remains ultimately the discourse of identity. Identity is a patriarchal discourse.